All right, guys. Now, this is Younger Now. Now, this is Miley Cyrus' latest album. It is of 11 tracks, and I am about to review it. It came out on Friday. Now, as we know, Miley Cyrus is the person who used to be Hannah Montana and also the daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus, the person who did Achy Breaky Heart. All right. Now, when she was with the Nickelodeon or Disney, I should say, she released two wholesome albums and then she went fully let's say crunk phase or at least she did her black ratchet phase with the whole bangers she did some songs with dj muskard and then she went through her experimental phase where she had all the debauchery and excess she could take with her album miley cyrus and her dead pets and of course, she went through that thing with Nicki Minaj, which led her to go back to a more traditional route with her song Younger Now. And I think that this album um, title is a reference to how she's going back to her roots and mixing a little bit of her old Miley self with the new Miley self. Now, one of the things I like about this album is it's nod to like the LGB community. Two of the best tracks are doing it with the song Rainbow Land with I think the only feature that uh, the album have, which is the beautiful and wonderful Dolly Parton. And also the song She's Not You that has this kind of creepy vibe. You know, I think both of these songs are uh, pretty excellent and a nice nod to the LGB community as a whole. Now, one of the things I don't like about this album is that they have the three singles. She released three singles, and these are probably the most boring tracks on the album, which is Younger Now, This Country Tinged. Um, EDM dance track and Malibu this acoustic um, tinged kind of slow love track both of them I kind of didn't like and also the song inspired which ironically sounds like one of the laziest tracks on this album like didn't really like it that much none of these I don't know how you can release three singles and they're probably the worst on here. And speaking of three, her discography goes into threes to me. If you count Bangers, which was um, her experimenting with Ratchet Black Culture. If you count Miley Cyrus and her Dead Pets, which was her experimenting with kind of like ratchet white culture and debauchery and now her experimenting with um kind of ratchet country culture so that's what it is to me just the ratchet trilogy kind of to me if you ask me about it but um one of the things I also don't like about this album is it's a love song. It's like a love album, but she says some of the creepiest shit on here. You know, um, on the song A Week Without You, she just explains how, you know, a week without you, she would just party with her friends, which is a nice sentiment. But um, on the song Miss You So Much, she referenced how you can take her organs and blood and shit like that. Kind of went into, for a second, a horror story and shit. Something that I would expect to be on American Horror Story. Now, a song that reaches the perfect balance between a, 
a sort of like desperate feel and sweet and empathetic is I Would Die For You. I kind of think that the song Thinking Too Much is a pretty lazy track. And how she keeps on repeating, I've been thinking way too much, 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 much. No, I don't really like that. Um, the song Bad Mood is talking about how she always wakes up in a tub and how she can't get a good night's sleep after her significant other left her, sadly. I'm digging the girl power anthem on Love Someone. Like, it's a, it's a pretty cool track. And overall, the only songs I'm really digging off here that brings an interesting idea is Rainbow Land. And I really like the whole Dolly Parton um, voiceover, even though she kind of only been on the track for, like, the hook. And shit like that. And she's not the one. These are really the only two that brings like a nod to the LGBT community. And actually brings an interesting idea. But overall, I kind of was like boring, bored with this album. You know, she she didn't really do that much of an honor to like country pop, if you ask me. And shit like that. And I'm going to give this album a four. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Share the video. And I am out, guys.